We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors Welcome to the channel to all subscribers Welcome back alas for returning this video smash that like button tell me you watch this video Helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos So we're gonna talk about the spy the s&p 500 index and everything going on Within the overall market and what are some of the key levels i'm seeing here based off 42 vision And what is going on with the data that came out this week? Now, within today's volatility, our spy bot, which is a new release, sent us out a bear indicator at 1035 a.m. And put options within minutes were up three to four X. And this is our new release that you can now gain access to as well. It sends us direct notifications over to the Discord to maximize on opportunities within the volatility of the markets, guys, to have an edge no matter which direction stocks or the spy is going. And you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators and the discord. Now, the SPY continue to pull downwards within the volatility. The direction has been going down. And we're going to break it all down in today's video. Why things have actually acted this way the last several weeks and days. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunities I mentioned on the weekly watch list. I know I talk about daily opportunities every single day, but... We also have weekly opportunities for those of you that don't just day trade, but also swing trade or long term trade. So if you guys want to know about these stocks early on, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. We look forward to having you join us and we're going to jump right into it here with the S&P 500 index and everything that's going on within the volatility and the data. So the home runs of the week were spectacular and beyond expectations. And I know I always talk about daily opportunities, but we also have weekly opportunities as they present themselves. So if you guys want to know early on every day in the pre-market what stocks we're watching and also weekly, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day and week. Now, these are the two stocks I mentioned on the weekly watch list. I expressed why I was watching them. And both of them turned out to be home runs last week within just a matter of days. The first one here is STRN. Lowest point of the week was 173. Started to pick up traction here. You could see the weakness here on 42 Vision. Shifting into strength. Got a bull indicator and hit a highest point of 30% plus. And then we caught MTTR as well, lowest point of 781, started to reverse, full strength here on 42 vision, got a bull indicator, and hit a highest point of 20% plus in a matter of two days as well. If you guys want to gain on early with us and know about these stocks before they take off, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the SPY and we're going to talk about the S&P 500 index. Key data points that came out in the last two weeks that have actually created this volatility. And I'm going to pull up Ultimate 42 Vision, which you can now gain access to as well, to receive the clarity you deserve within the volatility of the markets, to have an edge and maximize on opportunities no matter which direction stocks are going. So the SPY has been falling and we're under a bear indicator. As you see it here, since yesterday in the pre-market, it has been pulling downwards. Now, we're going to talk about what's been going on here, the key data points, as well as what I'm seeing here based off 42 Vision, because there is something going on on the one-day chart and the one-week chart based off 42 Vision itself. Now, before we look at the one-day chart and the one-week chart, here on 42 Vision, I want to share with you guys something that if it's your first time coming to the channel, you're seeing this for the first time. And if you've been watching my videos before, you know this already, right? 42 vision when we're at white with red borders, there's an anticipation that we might reverse eventually. And when things start to reverse and come with a bull indicator as an extra layer of confirmation, the transitions go from white with red borders to red with green borders, dark green, all the way to the point where it hits green. And then we start shifting back downwards. We get a bear indicator. We end up at white with red borders, very weak transition there, and we're at white with red borders again. And the question is, could we try to come back up, right? Those are the things we're going to talk about here in this video. 
Is it going to try to come back up? And if it doesn't, what key levels to watch and what's going on in the bigger picture as well. But when we're at white with red borders, I do want you guys to realize there's usually anticipation for some type of reversal and you could see it here as well, right? White with red borders shifted back up, got that bull indicator consolidated. Yeah, there was a short lived bear indicator there, got another bull indicator from that point forward and it did another leg up. That was a staircase effect right there, right? Went up to this point and bounced off of it and went up to this point up here of these highs before it shifted back down. So 42 vision brings the clarity to see the dips and the rips within the chart and the born bear indicators add that extra layer of confirmation within the volatility, right? So let's pull up here the four hours so we could see we're at white with red borders as well. That can anticipate a possible reversal. I put the 30 minute same thing here. We're at white with red borders shifted back to red. If this continues to pull downwards going into next week, white with red borders will be important to watch. And then we have here the one day. And this is the most important shift right now that's going on, which is we were under a bear indicator. We pulled down, we went back up and we've been tracking this bull indicator because it's kind of weak here and things shifted right back down and we're slightly below it that it can actually turn out to be a fake out. So next week, if this goes ahead and has another red bar and it goes into further weakness, we could see a bear indicator popping up. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to make another video updating on what's going on here on the one day because this is super important and I've been tracking it and comparing it to the 2020 March crash, which things were actually bearish as well. Things slightly pulled down. It tried to come back up, fake out, no bull indicator, and then went back down even lower, right? And we've seen this in the history of the chart as well, plenty of times. And right now, the only difference is that we're having a fake out with a bull indicator that could eventually and possibly get negated by a bear indicator, which is the biggest difference that has made this one a little bit harder to track, right? Because in the 2020 crash, it was a bear indicator. We saw the fake out, no bull indicator, and it continued in its downward path. Now we got a bull indicator. We're pulling away from it. And it's very unlikely for this to reverse right away and this still hold true. We might see a bear indicator. And if we do, we're going to go ahead and retest the lows down here. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible that this could just reverse and go back into strength. I could be completely wrong. But this amount of weakness and being pulled away this far down from that point, that's a significant amount that a bear indicator is bound to show up if this direction continues now i'm going to share with you guys another reason why i believe that this direction might continue we might retest these lows and if we break through these lows down here of 420 we could see newer lows we have not seen in months and in almost half a year so let's go ahead and pull up the one week and these do not pop up every day and when they do they last for several weeks to months we had one way back in 2018 and another one towards the end of the year from 2018 to 2019 and then in the 2020 March crash, right? And you could see lasted for about two months there, several weeks, got that bear indicator. This is the only one that's actually not in a clear downward direction like we see the others. This is the only one that actually went down, came back up, consolidated and now trying to pull back down again, which is now showing us that this bear indicator has been dominating and if this continues in this direction this was all a bull trap and i've talked about it time after time after time in my videos and when these bear indicators pop up they last for several weeks and months same thing with the bull indicators as you could see one of these popped up in february 2019 and it lasted until the 2020 march crash and then the most recent one was from july in 2020 and it lasted till 2021 in December. So one of the main things I'm tracking right now is this one week here of the 42 vision bear indicator. And if it's going to reverse into a bull indicator, that's like one of the main things for me to see how the risk on and risk off is going on and how bearish or bullish this is looking. Now there's going to be a continuation 
of volatility and this is what I've stated in previous videos and that is why I'm going to continue to maximize within the moves tracking 42 vision the spy bot and what's going on but the bigger picture is what's allowing me to see are we at the dip could we retest a new dip and so forth and things are looking pretty bearish on the one day same thing on the four hour as you could see it we shifted into a bear indicator about two to three days ago and on the 30 minute things are pulling down for the last two days straight they try to consolidate here and have been going down but where it all really started was up here at this double top guys double top formed right here and things have been falling down really fast since february 9th 8th and 10th and within that week things were stirring up already and it's because of this data guys it goes all the way back to ppi which was this week we had that come out and it actually stirred up the markets and then also the fact that we had the fomc minutes meeting that was a big deal as well crude oil inventories was important to watch and then also in the initial claims yesterday that was a big deal as well that was this week now last week was another reason why things stirred up and that had to do with obviously the crude oil inventories and cpi core cpi data and initial claims was also a big issue so last week and this week together it's been compounding apart from all the fear all the different headlines all the different articles these were the reasons why things started to stir up and this is the data right here showing where inflation was since last week everybody has been shocked that inflation is near 7.5 year over year and month over month we're at 0.6 and there's some areas in this data that is just super high and the fear is that it was already high and going down month over month but year over year it was actually pretty high but month over month as i stated was going down and it might go back up as well and if this goes up which is gasoline fuel oil with the tensions going on it is going to shock everyone for next month's cpi instead of seeing an inflection point we might see things actually skyrocket so this is the whole issue behind the scenes it's all this data it all started there now the fear the news the articles just add to it to confirm that there is fear and things are actually getting volatile because of that i mean we've been in volatility because of the uncertainty all of the month of january and now the uncertainty is actually coming to flourishing we're actually seeing the hard data concrete information and it's actually showing us what's going on in investors minds by the reactions in the overall stock market and things have been going down for the last two weeks now another thing too is the fact that the 10-year treasury had spiked if it could consolidate here and find a happy medium this won't be a big issue anymore for tech stocks in the long run not in the short term because things are going to still be kind of volatile but something to keep in mind now the other issue is the vix the vix actually keeps on spiking up and going back towards 30 rejecting if this actually stays below 30 and 32 i think things could actually start to gain momentum but if this continues to push up higher break through 32 33 retest 36 and 38 and break even higher beyond that that is going to show us how much fear and volatility is in the markets and this can let us know how investors are reacting to the information about inflation the fed meeting coming up next month and all the headlines and information coming out and also everyone's tracking how oil is doing now oil's kind of just been sitting there after spiking up really fast it's been sitting there between 90 and 95 if it goes above 95 and hits 100 100 plus that can actually make the vix go up really fast and also make the spy get much more turbulent i'm not sure how much lower but shake it out so 420 is the support if we stay above that and double bottom there and bounce back up I mean things could actually shift pretty quickly if everything else aligns with the possible reversal but if it breaks through 420 things are going to get a lot more bearish and we need to actually start talking about new support levels beyond that 
which we will actually touch base on next week if this bearishness continues or if we get close to 420 on the spy as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money